So before I start with the two main topics of today's video, I want to share something that's very good and it's been something I've been grinding for. Here's an annotation if you want to get to the main topics right now. I recently uploaded two Fortnite videos. The first one was on Fortnite Reload and the second one is on my second installment of my Spending Spree series. And the good news is they've done really well compared to my other videos that I've uploaded this year. Both of them are now over 100 views each and because of those I've also gained over 20 subscribers too. So this is a pretty good start for me and I'm really glad to see them gain some attraction. Especially my second Spending Spree video because it's already over 200 views at the time of this recording. So to all of you who are new here just know that I got more or Fortnite content on the way as well as other gaming content so don't worry and my uno video with the dream star squad will still be out this friday with that being said thank you all for the love and support on this channel i really really appreciate it a lot and hopefully we can reach 1000 members of the star nation but with that out of the way let's get into today's video so this is both a personal video, but also a PSA to those who find old or recent multiplayer games boring. I want you all to understand where I'm coming from as you watch this video until the end. I've been sitting on this for over a month, waiting for the right time to release it. Keep that into your head because this will be a very important thing that will be relevant in today's video. So if you've been watching my channel since 2023, chances are you've seen a few of my videos which feature in my family, mainly my younger cousins. Whenever we play the same few games, we never get tired or bored with them because we know how to have fun. Smash Ultimate, Mario Kart, Mario Party, Dragon Ball Fighters, and especially Fortnite. So if my family is able to have fun with the same few games while also mixing it up with something new, can that apply to friends too? For the most part, it can, but it also depends on who you play with. If you're playing with a group of people who just have fun with the games you play together without any or a lot of complaints, then you have nothing to worry about. Now look, burnout is going to happen at some point. You're going to experience it. It's a common thing. And if that happens, just take a break from the game to recharge your energy and play a different game with your squad. However, if you're playing with people who get bored with the games easily, then I think it's time you play with someone else. That's where my issue stems from. If you're someone who stops playing the game with people because it's boring, then this might be a hot take, but the problem that makes the game boring in your eyes isn't the game, it's you. The point of a multiplayer game is to have fun with friends and family. Sure, it can get competitive at times, but for the most part, it's for casual fun, whether it's locally or online. Now, this doesn't apply to all multiplayer games because there are some that are outright terrible or too competitive. But for a game like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the only way you're finding it boring is either you're trying too hard to at being the best at it or you're not playing it much with friends. And this also applies to Smash Ultimate, Fortnite, etc. Games that are considered amazing for multiplayer. These are jam packed with content and are still thriving to this day. The single player campaign is fun and all, but the real fun stems from having fun beating your friends and family at the games and having a good time, whether it's casual play or with a group of competitive friends. It doesn't matter if the game has more or less content, as long as the multiplayer gameplay is good and fun to play with everyone. And after playing Mario Party Superstars a lot, I came to the conclusion that it doesn't matter if it gets DLC or not, because I can still have fun with the game to this day. If a group like the Party Crashers are able to have fun with Mario Party Superstars without complaining, then I see no excuse for anyone to not do the same. Nothing's wrong with critiquing a game or wishing for more content, but a game like Skullgirls has less than 20 characters and is still a fun fighting game to this day and is still thriving to this day. So again, I see no excuse. This also goes for all of you who that are part of the Star Nation. It's okay to expand your library on multiplayer games. It's okay to take long break from the game due to burnout. But please don't forget the games that introduce you to the people you consider friends and also made memories with. That's what makes multiplayer fun. That's what makes it memorable. And I wish I could say the same thing to the majority of my friends which leads into the second topic that coincides with the first. The last time I featured my friends on the channel was back in December of last year, where I hosted a Smash Ultimate tournament for the game 5th anniversary. And that's not counting the recent Fortnite videos I've done with the Dreamstar squad. But after that tournament, I've been making less group content and more solo content. That doesn't mean I stopped making group videos because I did do a few with the squad. 
Contrary to what people may say, I am a fun person and I like to have fun when it comes to video games. The biggest issue I have is how people would portray me due to my past content and sessions outside of YouTube. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be 100% innocent. I can admit I've been salty sometimes in the past. I can admit that I've had moments where I get pissed. It happens to everyone. You're going to get pissed and angry at one point and that's okay. However, throughout this year, I have pretty much mellowed out. And I'm not going to sit here and be told that I'm a toxic person or someone that is horrible. I don't like losing. I like having fun, but I also like winning as well. I hate getting carried, which is why I do my best to improve, whether it be Smash or Fortnite. I don't mind being competitive, but not to the extent of a tryhard or a sweaty player. Now I want you all to ignore all of that for a moment, because it's time I tell you why I truly made this video. The only time where I'm actually playing with friends is when I'm the one asking or planning out these sessions for the most part. Rarely does anyone ever ask me if I want to play a video game with them other than my friends from the Dreamstar squad and that is a clear fact. And after doing that smash tourney, I've tried multiple times to start a gaming session. I even tried adding in some variety to make sure people can have a good time with other games and every single attempt failed. Even the recent one in my new Discord server, I made a poll like two months ago in order to start our first gaming session. It had like 11 votes in total, but only two of them showed up. My mindset was negative after that session. I felt upset. I felt anger. I felt frustrated. And it wasn't just because of that session. Like I said before, I've had multiple failed attempts at trying to start something fun. And so I asked myself, what the hell happened? I told them before that if there were any issues they had with me or in my community, just tell me so that I can try to resolve them. How can it be problem free if no one's willing to communicate? And I mean actual problems because I've heard the same song and dance. This game's too boring because we play it too much. There's way too many people despite being seven to eight of us. Stuff like that can be so negative. People need to understand that the more people you have playing a game together, the more fun and chaotic it can get. That's the fun of friend groups. That's the point of multiplayer games. This also applies to friend groups doing group content together. And after seeing a bunch of my older group gaming videos, I realized how less engaged in some of them have have become, whether it be people playing videos in the background while recording or it just being nothing but dead silence, which is why I try spicing up the content to make it more interesting. But what I also need to do is to find better friends. Remember when I said that I was waiting for the right time to post this video? Well, there's a good reason behind that. I wanted to see if anything could improve. Two weeks before my birthday, I announced on Twitter, YouTube, and Discord that I was going to do a Q&A for my birthday. I even promoted it like hell. And guess what happened? Only three people sent me questions. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe I need a bigger audience to do another Q&A in the future. And hey, if you want that to happen, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to join the Star Nation. But in all seriousness, I was a little bummed out about it. But the Fortnite video I did with the Dreamstar Squad, which is the Metallica video, it really made up for my birthday. And then we get to what happened yesterday at the time of this recording. I held an event in my Discord server hoping to clear any issues and to see what can be improved on certain things. But 20 minutes later, and no one showed up. And I think that's the answer I needed. Over two months ago, I made a personal tweet saying, I see a bunch of big friend groups on YouTube that sometimes makes me feel envious, not just because of how extremely close they are, but because they never get tired of playing the same games. And I'm thinking, damn, I really wish I had something like that. To this day, I still have that feeling. Groups like Party Crashers, RDC, AMP, Some Bros, V Shoujo, etc. Now that's not to put down my own group. The Dreamstar squad are still family to me and I'll continue being the best leader of the group. However, right now there are still some unbroken shackles that needs to be broken. I want to be able to collab and connect with more YouTubers. I want to be able to make this channel grow and finally hit over 1k subs which was long overdue. Even bigger than that, I'm talking 5k to 10k subscribers. That may seem impossible but I'm gonna go for it anyway. 
I want to be treated as a content creator. And I want you all who are watching this video, yes, I'm talking to you directly to come on this journey with me as I make my way up there with other good content creators. But I know we have a long way to go before reaching that. And I also want for the Star Nation to be active with others and to have fun. We might even do group activities together if given the chance. So if you want that to happen, then come join my Discord server. The link in the description below as well as the pinned comment. I guess to end the video off, I'll say two things here. Firstly, and this applies to the Star Nation as well as everyone else watching this video. If you feel the need to quit any multiplayer game because you find it boring, please don't do it just yet. Take a long break from the game and come back to it. Because like I said, it's a lot of fun when playing with friends and family. Burnout can happen at some point. It happens to everyone. But if the game is not for you, then it's totally fine. And secondly, like I said before, if you have any issues with me, just talk to me like an adult. Don't take what I said as an offense. I'm just speaking my mind here. But regardless of what you decide to do, I'm going to keep doing what I do best. Making content, building my community, and playing games with my true friends. I love you all, and I'll continue to make content for you all to enjoy. But until then, this is Startup Protagonist signing out. As always, go Kigenyo, and have a startastic day, everyone. If you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those notifications on to join the Star Nation. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter, and while you're at it, check out my previous video. Now.